Hi, my peeps. This is Chicken Dance Mama, a.k.a. Aaron Cross, coming at you with some um, quick tips on how to study your Bible. I love studying the Word of God. It is invigorating and exciting, and it is meat for your soul. So um, I've been studying for years and years and years, and I can't wait to share a couple tips. Number one, pray before you study. Okay, so there is a um, television evangelist. He's so awesome. His name is Les Feldick, F-E-L-D-I-C-K. If you want to Google him, he's a very um, gentle, kind, older gen gentleman that just, um, he works off of a little school room and he teaches like 20 people in a room and they videotape it and it goes live. And in there, I learned the simplest, most effective way to help me study my Bible. And that is to pray before you before you study. And the prayer is, Father God, as I read your, your word, as you open it up to me, would you allow me to understand it like a kindergarten reader? Like, like I was in kindergarten and I'm reading hop on pop. Like I'm reading, um, I'm trying to think of what's another, another like kindergarten book, but something that you would read to your five-year-old and you understand and you can explain it to them, that's how you want to read the Bible. You want to say, Lord, show me what's in your word today. I pray that I would understand that as it as a kindergarten reader. It would be easy for me to understand and digest. And I just, I pray that you would be with me in my time of study. So here's how you pray. You say, Father God, come and be with me in my time. I ask that you would open your word to me, that you would make it exciting and new, and that I would understand it as clearly as a kindergarten reader, that I would understand it as something that I would read to my kindergartner or a kindergarten child. Lord God, just open it, reveal it to me today. Let me understand your word. Let me digest it. Let it be meat for my soul. Lord, be with me in my time. In Jesus' name. You pray something like that, you'll be blown away by your time with God and how much more effective your study time is and how much more you gain from it. I hope you have a really great day. I hope this was a little quick tip that'll help you along your day and with your Bible study. And um, this is Chicken Dance Mama, and I'm out.